Many of the best high school football players in the nation are getting ready to strap on the pads one last time tonight as the Polynesian Bowl is set to kick off at Kamehameha Kapal Lama. Joining us now to talk story is the pride of Farrington High School, the University of Hawaii, and of course the San Francisco 49ers. Four-time Super Bowl champion, Jesse Sapolu. Aloha and good morning, Jesse. Thank you Aloha. so much for joining good us. Morning. If Thank we talk you about your morning. accolades, we can go on all morning. Uh, but <laughs> one of your titles is chairman and founder of the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame which puts on the Polynesian Bowl, which is in its eighth year. Hard to believe that it's been eight years already, eight yeah. seasons of this. How much does this mean to you to put on this bowl? Well, it means a lot. We've grown a lot. The first two years we streamed it online. Uh, we just showed it locally on TV here. Uh, but now, you know, uh, we're on NFL Network. We're the only high school all-star game to be on the NFL Network. And it's more than just a game. You know, we're bringing in the top high school players from all over the nation, share our culture with them during the one-week one period that they're here so that they can, uh, hopefully, they can uh, maneuver the journey better by learning what the Polynesians are, how we carry ourselves. Um, I know the journey that I had, and uh, these kids have to deal with social media. You know, we were protected a little bit back then, but now the journey for them is, is even harder as far as making sure that your journey is safe and you stay clean, and uh, not only on the football field, but off the football field. Yes, lots of distractions these days. Incredible football players that you get to bring here to the islands, but also local boys that get to participate in the game. Uh, some that are from here, and then some that have moved away to the continent to come back. Michael Alahato from Bishop Gorman, Dylan yes. Raiola, to, to name a few. What does this opportunity mean to the local boys? Well, for the local boys here, we've had some kids that have gotten offers since they played this game. Uh, but also it's a chance for them to measure themselves against the very best in the nation as far as peers are concerned. For Dominic Riola and, and some of our local kids that are playing on the mainland, it's a pride thing, you know, for them to come home and say, this is our chance to play, finally play in front of our people and finish our career on the right, you know, note before we move on to the next level. It's a weekend packed full of events. You have the induction ceremony, the celebration dinner tomorrow. What's your favorite as far as all these events that happen? Well, the Polynesian Bowl, obviously, is one of my favorites. Uh, but the induction uh, dinner that we have at the Sheraton on Saturday night. It's a chance for us to connect the future, which is the high school players, the present stars like, uh, you know, Pukanakua flew in last night. Uh, Pene Sewell's parents are here. Of course, Ngalo and Diane Tangobailo are here. Uh, those are our present guys. And then honor the guys that uh, opened the doors for these young men to be where they're at, guys that even came before me. So uh, it's an emotional deal. Uh, it's a it's a proud deal for all of our Polynesian football players and uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, seeing Puka Nakua play in the game a few years back, he was amazing. I think he won most outstanding player. Just an incredible rookie season that he had with the Rams. Uh, but they did lose to the 49ers this year, <laughs> and the 49ers did win the division. They're playing in the divisional round tomorrow at 315. You can catch it right here on KH12. Uh, are you going to get a chance to watch the game, Jesse? I'm going to, you know, it's in the back of my mind, you know, because of the schedule, you know, I thought we would play on a Sunday, but we played Saturday. So the 49ers are letting me uh, do my Polynesian uh, Football Hall of Fame uh, uh, commitments. But, uh, you know, I'll be watching the game. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to uh, not to get caught up too much in it, but I'm, it's in the back of my mind. I think we have a great football team. But I, I tell uh, young guys like Talano Hufanga, who played in this yes. game. Um, you know, we won five Super Bowls, but you guys just need to win one or two for the faithful to start talking about you the same way they talk about us. So a little nervous for the kids because they're great kids. We have a great team, and we, we, we hope we can close the deal. I was watching the 1994 NFC Championship game when you beat the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> it's an incredible rivalry. Uh, do you get more nervous when you're in your playing days or when you watch and you don't have control over the game? A lot more nervous now. A lot more <laughs> nervous now. You know, when, when you have control of it, you'll just focus on what you need to do against the opponent that you're facing, you know, one play at a time. Uh, but now, you know, I'm, I'm starting to be a fan. You know, you, you get nervous. You're like a parent that's looking at, at these young guys that, you know, that are coming up as 49ers, and you want so bad for them to win it all. All right, Jesse Sapolu, four-time Super Bowl champion. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and congratulations on all your success with the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame. Thank you. appreciate you guys having me on. Appreciate all right. It. Aloha. All right, kickoff tonight is set for 4 o'clock, folks. Tickets are still available, and if you can't make it on down, of course, you can catch it on the NFL Network with our good friend, Kanoa Leahy, on the call.